Jeremy Nelson. Uh, Hurricane Francine has just made landfall, you've learned. Yeah, just a few minutes ago, we got word from the National Hurricane Center that Terrapone parishes where it made landfall. Wind gusts around 105 miles per hour, and that was a measured wind gust on Eugene Island. The center of circulation there crossing over the coastal areas, continuing to move northeast. So it didn't look bad in New Orleans with that live look. But the outer eye wall is about to approach New Orleans, so that's when they'll get into the heavy rain and some of those stronger winds. This will weaken quickly. Here's the latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center. Position tonight is a tropical storm, tropical depression Thursday afternoon, then a remnant low. You can see it weakens very fast as it moves north just to the east of the Mississippi River. That's not the only activity out there. We have several areas of interest. Let's start in the eastern Atlantic. We have Tropical Depression 7. That's poised to be Tropical Storm Gordon over the next 24 hours. That's moving westerly. No threat to us here in the short term. And then two areas of interest with very low development chances. The one we'll monitor, though, later this weekend, uh, possibly very early next week. Low pressure here may try to be subtropical or tropical as it lifts its way off to the north. This is a seven day forecast, 30% chance of tropical development. Here in the short term, we have some rough surf out on Tybee Island, high rip current risk through this evening. Uh, a few people dipping their toes in the water. That's about all you wanna do when we have those higher end rip current risks. Also, it's pretty gloomy out there. It's breezy at our coastline. We've had these showers on going near and south of the Ultimaha River today. Really no rain chances in the low country, a uh, little drier air up there. So I-16 and point south, if there's any rain around tonight, that's where it will reside. So a couple spotty showers south, cloudy skies for tonight. It stays mild, a bit on the muggy side. Temperatures drop down to the low 70s. Rain chances going forward. This will really focus towards Thursday afternoon and evening. That 40% chance. No all day rains on Thursday. Friday, the chance is definitely a little higher. That will linger into Saturday, but still lots of dry hours mixed in. If you get caught under a thunderstorm, there will be some tropical heavy downpours possible. And then rain chances start tailing off as we go into early next week. Citycast for tomorrow. Highs in the low to mid 80s. Rain chance is just a bit higher once you get near south of the Altamaha River once again. 83 in Rinkin, 84 Savannah, low country numbers, about 83 to 84 degrees. Just keep an umbrella on standby as we go through the next few days. Breezy slash windy at the coastline again tomorrow. Tybee and Hilton Head, low 80s for highs, uh, about a 40% chance of a few showers and thunderstorms. Severe weather risk, really not one around on Thursday, Friday. It's over the central and western part of Georgia, and that would be for a quick spin-up tornado or some stronger wind Gus, 10 day forecast, Savannah inland locations, lots of 80s for highs coming up about 82 to 84 degrees, some scattered showers and thunderstorms possible. A little drier look to the forecast going into next week. But remember Sunday, Monday, maybe into Tuesday, we'll watch that low pressure area off the southeast coastline. It should be tracking more to the north. So that's looking like more of a Myrtle Beach to the outer banks of North Carolina where that would track. Certainly we'll keep an eye on it for you. And the 10 day numbers, Hilton Head and Tybee Island, lots of low 80s for you. Your higher rain chances come in Friday, Saturday, and then start to drop off from Sunday into Monday. Be aware though, tomorrow afternoon, still breezy out there with wind gusts over 20 miles per hour. Next week, lots of highs in the low 80s and morning lows, mild and muggy into the low 70s. You can track all 10 days of our forecasts on the go. Just download the free WJCL 20.